Hi, everybody. My name is Garrow Green, and I'm going to be your host through the Learning Windows XP course. Before we get started and jump into all of the nuances and crazy things about Windows XP, I thought we should take just a moment together and take a look at the Microsoft.com site. I want to take you to a specific section so that you can sort of discover more about Windows on your own. If you go to the home page, and I've done so here in Microsoft Internet Explorer 6 for the PC, and you come over to this Windows link and you click, you'll drill down into the second level of the Microsoft site, and here you can see links to the various Windows products that Microsoft offers. You can even go down and get information on Windows ME, not a very good operating system, uh, 9895, and so on and so forth. But for purposes of this CD-ROM, I wanted to point out the uh, Windows XP uh, submenu here so that you can see that there are several different versions of the Windows XP operating system available. There's the professional version, the home edition, the media center edition, one even for working specifically with tablet PCs, and there's even one more called the 64-bit version, but that gets into a whole other advanced topic which we're just not going to address on the CD-ROM. I'm using for this CD-ROM the Windows XP Professional Edition, but that shouldn't stop you from using this course with the Home Edition, which is actually right here. Just kidding. I'm going to go through this course and show you features within Windows XP that are the same between the Home Edition and the Professional Edition. Now, if I touch on something that is only in the Professional Edition, I'll try to mention that so it doesn't confuse you guys. But about 90% of what I talk about here is going to apply for both of these versions. The Media Center edition of Windows XP was released later than these two, and this is specifically designed for working with media, whether it be hooking up your PC to a television, a DVD player, uh, working with a lot of audio, video, and those types of things. And like I mentioned before, the tablet version is working with a tablet PC. Don't be afraid. Come on in, take a look at this site because there are some interesting articles and sort of how-to things that you can discover right on the Microsoft site. For example, on the right-hand side, they have this Do Amazing Things section, and this kind of just gives you links to various things that you might want to do with Windows XP, whether it's working with video and music, making home movies, setting up Windows Messenger, and all kinds of other different types of tasks. So do check out the site, become familiar with it, and I would recommend definitely that you check out the Expert Zone community because there's a lot of people that write articles and how-to stuff, again, on doing sort of interesting and cool things within Windows XP. So now that you've learned a little bit more about the types of Windows XP versions that are available, let's go through and dive into some of the nuances of the operating system itself.